Next one, 16 lab. This is the kinematics lab. We're going to be going over station B. Um, just like last station, we're going to go over two terms. So we're going over speed and velocity. So we know that speed is the total of distance traveled over a certain amount of time, while we know velocity is the total amount of displacement over that certain time. So what we know about speed is that it's a scalar quantity, meaning that it only has magnitude, while ve velocity is a vector quantity, meaning it has magnitude and direction. So the equations for these is uh, pretty simple. So we have speed equals length divided by time, while velocity is velocity equals displacement divided by time. So if, for example, in our station B, problem B1 and B2, um, you might have to switch the equations around. For example, you can switch it around for uh, length. If you, if you have speed and you have time, but you don't have length, you could change the equation around and put length equals speed times time, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to give you guys an example. So let's say I'm going over, I'm at a 30 minute pace, I'm going 20 miles per hour. How many miles have I biked? So we're going to use this equation. So we know we're going to 30 minute pace. We're going 20 miles per hour. Okay, so first we have to convert minutes to hours so we could work with the equation of 20 miles per hour. So to convert that equation, we go 30 minutes times one hour divided by 60 minutes. Okay, these cancel out. Move the, the variables over, so 30 hours over 60, which equals 0 0.5 hours. Okay, so now we have our hours. Now we're gonna put that in our equation. So we'll use this equation since we already have our speed and we have our time and we have to figure out for length. So we have the C L equals 20 miles per hour times 0 0.5. All right. All right. And then you just figure out the equation, use your calculator, and get your uh, distance from there. Have a good one.